We are getting down to the wire, counting down the hours to the total solar eclipse. This is the kind of sky you want to see. Mark Robinson shot this video back in 2017 in Tennessee when the total solar eclipse turned the sky dark just for a moment. No cloud cover to block this, no precipitation to fall down on you. Tyler, the path of totality will cross right through eastern Canada and so many Canadians they want that forecast, but will they get it? We're here to answer all the details. And we've got our work cut out for us in this segment, Rachel, because totality lasts as long as this video itself. <laughs> Western Canada, Alberta. It looks like you're going to win the weather jackpot out west. We've got clear skies in the forecast. Sorry, British Columbia, too much of an onshore flow. And Rachel, notice that big low over the upper Midwest. That is going to put a big wrinkle in our forecast out east. Yeah, you got it. So as we focus in on the path of totality, Tyler, let's just remind Canadians where that very special route will be. Here it is, and it ranges from about southwestern Ontario along the shores of Lake Erie out to Kingston, Montreal, the eastern townships. This forecast hasn't wavered for our good to excellent forecast out towards the eastern townships and much of New Brunswick. And just to remind the viewers, when is this total solar eclipse? And uh, assure, I will assure you, it is going to be precise. Absolutely. You know, lots of viewing parties starting around 2 p.m. local time within the Golden Horseshoe. This is where millions of people are expected to be down towards that Niagara region. This showing you a few different models in terms of the cloud cover. And you know what, Tyler? I've worked at the Weather Network for 12 years. I don't think we have paid so much attention to a specific time and a specific cloud cover forecast, but it really matters in this case. If this was just a regular Monday, April 8th, Rachel, I wouldn't <laughs> bat an eye at this cloud cover, but we're having millions of guests here out towards Niagara Falls. And this is the biggest wild card location on the entire path of totality. We're gonna watch that sky start to show some pockets of sunshine down towards Niagara Falls and Hamilton as we approach that three o'clock local time. And guess what? If there's clouds around, which there will be here, it will create a unique viewing experience, Rachel, that cloud really acting like a projector screen so you'll be able to see the moon's shadow as it approaches and the clouds may turn a funky color. Okay, that could be really cool and really unique for the Niagara region. You may not see those Bailey's beads or the perfect corona, but hey, the cloud color, color changes, that could be pretty cool. Now, further to the east, we are expecting more cloud cover, unfortunately, within southern Ontario. Yeah, this has some of the 80% cloud cover. We can hope for a miracle here, Rachel. There could be some pockets of clear skies, but I wouldn't bet on it out towards Prince Edward County, Eastern Ontario. Much better viewing conditions as we continue to track along the path of totality, Rachel. Montreal, we are watching those mid-level clouds roll in. Again, the sun will be about 45 degrees above the horizon and you'll be looking southwest where those clouds are increasing, but the eastern townships and the province of New Brunswick. You can't argue against this province wow. having the best experience to view totality. That really is going to be the sweet spot. And you know what? Over the past two weeks, Tyler, New Brunswick has dealt with snowstorm after snowstorm. So I think they kind of deserve this one, in my opinion. <laughs> it's a once in a lifetime experience. They absolutely do deserve it. And you know what? Parts of Newfoundland are going to see this total solar eclipse as well. Badger, Bergio, we'll see if we can get some skies to clear in and around Gander, Rachel. All right, and remember, we are live streaming this entire event on Monday on our app, TV, and YouTube.